Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at one of the latest and greatest additions to our lovely little command family of stuff to blow up stuff. So uh, what we've added recently, or what they've added I should say, I don't like any of these cool things that they work on, are these lovely things known as microwave weapons. Now when I thought about microwave weapons, my initial thought was that the military could use it to target burrito factories, you know, like the instant burritos that you chuck in the microwave, and then like destroy the food supplies that way. But apparently the microwave weapons are supposed to be used for the purposes of essentially creating little miniature EMP at the source of where you point it. Now, um, these type of weapons uh, come in two different flavors. So you have one which is sort of like a big fat beam, and then you have a much, much, much tighter one, which is like a little laser. So what I've done is I've grabbed a copy of each one of these units here so we can see these in action. Uh, just south of us, of course, uh, you can see that there's a pair of UAVs uh, making their way up to our lovely little Block Island Resort here. They're probably gonna go to try to visit at Elizabeth's there, but they don't realize yet that it's closed and the Russian emissary doesn't know that it's closed at the diner and it's gonna be frustrating. So let's see what happens when we get into range here. So what's going to happen first is our buddy right here, and this is going to be that Asa version of it, is going to fire the nice narrow beam version of this weapon. Now our other buddy over here is going to fire the very, very wide, wide, thick version of this weapon. Now you'll notice that we can see both of these side by side, so you can see exactly kind of what this is doing. Now on the other team on the flip side, what these poor folks are under receiving is not looking into a laser this time, but looking basically into an electromagnetic pulse beam. Now what you observe here is these both have shown the EMP damage. And if I actually click on one of these units here, you'll see that the damage control now is going to tell me that it probably has some damage to my eyes, which makes sense because the flares are a relatively electrically simple item. You also notice as they get a little progressively closer, the damage gets a little bit worse each time. Now this guy right here um, can't see much of anything anymore. Now for these weapons to actually work properly, one of the things you have to keep in mind is under scenario features and settings is you, you have to turn on communications disruption, otherwise the destruction of the sensors will just basically limit their ability to you know see things and not necessarily put them completely out of action. Now this particular target here is uh, getting whacked pretty darn hard uh, with this uh, incoming attack. And what it's doing of course is each one of these EMP blasts, oh, and now he's out of contact. And you can see that he's dropped off the network completely. Now, the interesting thing here is uh, now that this guy's out of communication because we enabled out of communication, we can no longer control it directly. Now, the interesting thing here is if we quickly switch over to Blue 4, you'll see that these guys are happily uh, popping away with this particular weapon this entire time. We can still identify him, but he can't see anything. He's utterly blinded. And unfortunately, we're just going to keep on spamming this guy as he gets progressively closer with those microwave weapons until something else deals with it. Now, the interesting thing is if I were a living creature here, a biological, I wouldn't really be affected by the microwave, at least not in this generation of the microwave weapons. I'm sure in later versions, things will get a little bit more exciting for us. Nice. Now, you're probably sitting here saying, wow, that's a really useful weapon. I like that. Um, um, what, can we use it for other things? Like, can I blast a ship with it? Yeah, why not? As a matter of fact, when you click on it itself, you'll see that they did not consider that. As a matter of fact, when I go down here to microwave burst, you'll see that the desired contacts are supposed to be unknowns, which means we can't know what they are, obviously. Unspecified are micro UAVs. There's nothing in here about surface vehicles, ground units, anything like that, which is disappointing. That also means there's something else that we're not going to be taking into account. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly head over to my aircraft real fast here. I'm gonna go ahead and add an E3. I'll have nothing like an E3G to be able to see things around us. Hanging out with my OPP man. Yeah, my OPP, no, my OG, my GG, my G. It's all good. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip on this guy's radar. I'm just gonna look around and uh, see if there's anything suspicious anywhere. Uh-oh, what's that? All right, so of course, you know, some time is passing. We're certainly not aware of this cruise missile that is uh, traveling at exceptionally. Oh, there he is. We've detected him. Now, the hope here is that you could probably point one of these microwave weapons at one of these incoming missiles that are traveling extremely fast, trying to blow up that uh, abandoned diner here over on Block Island. But the problem is these weapons aren't configured to attack these types of weapons, which means that even though there's a little sensor on the nose of this, which is a little active radar sensor, and that's something we could certainly damage with electromagnetic pulse, not to mention the gloss nest that controls it, neither one of these poor chaps is going to be able to do any real damage to that incoming weapon. As a matter of fact, you can watch that weapon come into range here in these two different systems just sit there and go what do, do i do i look like an interceptor missile because i last i checked i'm really an anti-drone weapon in disguise but that's okay because there are other weapons that um don't seem to be bothered too much by stuff like that namely our ss alimony over here which happens to have a 300 kilowatt laser of course there's a line of sight issue here because we're shooting through an island so unfortunately we're gonna have to wait until this missile jumps over the island for my ss alimony to take the shot there oh <laughs> 
So I know what you're probably wondering. You're saying, okay, so the, the short version is these things were basically designed to be anti-drone weapons and they can whack a swath of sky and cut all the drones out of the sky. That's pretty cool. Um, does that mean you can like do silly stuff? Well, well, the uh, logical extension of all this fun, of course, is to um, make the B-52J Ultra Fortress Airwolf Edition in... Um... <laughs> Let's just say the uh, fireworks are going to be rather entertaining in a second here. All right, so we have a B-52. Uh, we've equipped it with some of the latest and greatest of the sci-fi guns that are becoming progressively less sci-fi, and we're about to be ganked by um, probably more MiG-29s than um, we're probably supposed to have here. <laughs> Come get some. You like that? Oh, you shot a missile at me. Did you shoot a missile at me? It's a shame I have lasers to shoot those down. Oh, you shot a missile at me too? Oh, what's that going to do? Oh, I just blinded your radar. I guess you won't be able to do that anymore. Although, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little surprised that guy got that far. Uh, what are we waiting on here? I'm surprised. Oh, there's an OODA loop. Oh, 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 oh. My bad. I forgot to make the proficiency a little bit higher. Okay, better. All right, let's see if that works here. Oh, look at that. Your incoming laser. Oh, it's being blasted. Ha 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 Come get some. You fired a laser at me too? Oh, that was your first mistake. It'd be a shame if I shot that one down too. Uh oh, I think we might get a connection here. Oh no, I don't think we're gonna... Oh, it's within minimum range. No, it's gonna get through. I should have put a C-Wiz on it. Oh, my B-52 is gonna get shot down. Oh, that was no fun. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he fired one. Look at that over-the-shoulder shot there. Oh, 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 oh. let's go. <laughs> Uh-oh, uh oh not going to have enough time. You're wasting too much time shooting the other guy. Get the missile, get the missile. Oh, no, here comes... He got it. Sweet, let's turn around and keep blasting these guys. Now I'm just having fun. <laughs> All right, let's go switch to the other team real quick. There's uh, some uh, NATO professional who watches my videos who's uh, observing what's going on here, going... What have you done? How could you do this? And now, of course, these guys are all getting EMP. So, like, all their radars are blown out and their iris are blown out. And, like, they can't guide weapons anymore. And all their communication systems failing. And then, meanwhile, my uh, B-52, my Airwolf edition here, is uh, just kind of speed up to military and just, just just go to town here. Take them to the cleaners, B-52J. <laughs> Yes, so as you can see, the uh, microwave weapons are a very fascinating tool, and I hope the, um, nobody gets any ideas from my silliness here. I definitely need to improve my solid-state laser technology a little bit here. It wasn't bad, but like I said, I could play with it a little bit more, and in case you're curious, that's what it looks like, and of course, uh, you can't complete it without putting in an FR or something like that on it. So the weapons, the key thing you got to remember is they were designed to basically blast drones. Uh, you have one version, which is going to be this one over here. That one is basically going to be doing the wide beam. The other guy over here is going to be shooting that little tight beam that's not going to be able. Another thing you have to remember is it only works against basically drones and airplanes, and it also will not be nearly as effective unless you turn communication disruption on. Enjoy.